today, uh, this morning, I did a Apache Spark code review, and this, also this morning, I guess just an hour later, or two hours later, I'm going to be working on uh, updating my outgoing Airflow PRs. Um, it looks like that for whatever reason, uh, Restream is having a bit of difficulty with chat today. Um, it doesn't seem to be connecting... Um, Oh, okay, is it? No, this is live. Hmm. Um, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not working for uh, restream chat today. I guess um, it's, a, it's a thing I can follow up with them on. So we'll just hide the chat uh, window. And I'll just uh, I'll just use my phone um, <clears throat> to keep an eye on the chat messages in case anyone wants to uh, jump in. Uh, sorry. I wonder what's going on with restream. Okay, there we go. It's the I'm just bringing it up on my phone so that I can see it even when I'm busy. Hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. <coughs> 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 Okay. Well, looks like we're live, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so yeah, Holden and Boo's super fun live stream. Um, we are, I did Apache Spark code reviews earlier today. Apache, the, nope, sorry, Apache Airflow PR updates. Uh, and I'm Holden, I prefer to share her. I'm a developer advocate at Google. Um, um, and I'm on the Apache Spark PMC, but as you can see, I contribute to other projects as well. So with that, let's go ahead and bring up Airflow. Um, and let's look at the PRs that I am the author of. Cool. Um, that's exciting. I wonder if this thing was merged. Um, okay, cool. Uh, the question was, oh shit, someone asked me to update the Jira, uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do that, because I um, didn't, didn't do that. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the ASF Jira, we'll go over here, Airflow 2487. Um, status is resolved. The fixed version is two. Um, yeah. Yep. Um, uh, and we can see seven hours ago someone asked me to close it. Yep. Uh, sorry for the delay. resolved. Mm. So that's good. Um, in Spark, we have this part automated uh, to a degree. It doesn't set the assignee, but while uh, the dev committers are merging PRs, uh, they can just tell the merge script to resolve the uh, JIRAs for them, um, but that's that's good. So let's go back here. Um, that's good. Uh, I like it when I get to remove a bunch of code, so let's go back to my other pull request. This one is just clearly 
probably not going anywhere. I really don't know why this is behaving the way it is. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I think it's okay. Um, yeah, with the new dockerized tests, test environment, um, I don't think we need this PR anymore. So I'll close it for now, um, and, uh, switch the Jira to won't fix, um, uh, if folks disagree, feel free to reopen them. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Yeah, this mattered more before Airflow dockerized their test environment, but now that they have, there's really no benefit to it. So uh, we're going to go ahead, resolve issue, won't fix. Um, So that's done. Um, <clears throat> so that updated the two. Well, closed the Jira associated with one of my PRs, uh, closed another one of my PRs because it's not needed anymore. And we could either go ahead and try and fix, uh, try and make another Airflow PR. But the other thing that I wanted to do this morning about Airflow was fixing the dashboard, which I ported over and screwed up. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that quickly. Um, hopefully it's actually quick and I can get in and fix another issue within the hour. And if not, um, we, we won't worry about that. So... Um, this is Spark. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is the Spark review dashboard, which if you follow my uh, other live streams where I do code reviews, you'll have seen it before. Um, it gives us this nice view of PRs and, and some other things. Uh, the plan was to limit it to new pull requests. Um, so we're going to go ahead, get that pull request number. And we'll put that in a settings file. I'm going to actually, because the settings file um, has a bunch of secrets in it, um, I'm going to open it somewhere else first. Uh, here we go. <coughs> oh, fuck. Sorry. Um, and so, yeah, so this is just the, the watermark uh, here. And so essentially we won't uh, do anything with pull requests, uh, not anything. We won't update your issues for pull requests before that watermark. Uh, so with that being said, we go ahead, we go settings.cfg.airflow. I don't remember how to deploy an app. It's been a while. Uh, Mm. Actually, yes. Uh, let's check the git log. Cool. Uh, okay. Um... Uh, 
Oh, whatever. So looks like the one that I had in push to get up um, didn't. have the watermark code in it, which is, is useful when you're integrating with an existing project. Uh, okay, git log. Uh, <clears throat> I want to know that our git diff from Databricks master is reasonable. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, um, does this look reasonable? Oh, uh, yeah. There's a bunch of hacks that I did. Um, around uh, authentication tokens and limits. Uh, yeah, OK. This all looks pretty reasonable. Um, the main thing that I want to check and make sure here is um, <clears throat> if, we, if we look at the commits, there's uh, this thing here, upgrade various packages for better handling behind a shared proxy. So if we go git log, um, upgrade? Yeah, so it's there. OK, cool. Um, and that's important. We, we want that. OK, because um, that, that was giving us some issues earlier. So that's pretty solid. Uh, and we can go back here. <sighs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we'll run dev app server. Oh, actually, gcloud project. Uh. Wait, do I not have? It says I don't have G Cloud installed on this machine. I do. Wait, I'm so confused. Ah. Uh... Okay, yeah. Cloud. <clears throat> so this is the Airflow PR dashboard. Right. Uh. 
So it'll take a hot minute or two. Software's always a little slow. Um, we're deploying essentially a new version of the review dashboard for Airflow. Um, it's taking a bit of time. Cool. Um, Huh. Cool. That's not good. I checked. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's the user that the stuff is in. Uh, Airflow PR dashboard. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go into. Well, yeah, let's try App Engine first. Dashboard. Errors. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, oh yeah, I saw this one before. <coughs> um, request tool belt. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I'm wondering if we left something important out. Um, let's go see. Um, Could be that I have to run this command first to have the actual requirements installed. So let's try that. Uh, huh. That's weird. I. Not super sure. Uh, let's try and deploy it again. <clears throat> okay. Uh, while it's running, let's go and uh, take a look for new airflow issues to take a look at. Because um, I. Uh, so I have. This one, which is new PySpark issues. So let's just go project airflow uh, and status equals open order by creation date. Uh, yeah. Oh no, this guy changes. Fine. 
save as new airflow issues. I have to change the name first, which is frustrating, but that's fine. There we go. Now I can save this. Uh, Interesting. Let's take a look at this. Um, hmm. I don't want to go into the web UI today. Uh, what's this one? Uh, what's this error? really doesn't tell us a lot. Okay. Uh, huh. Hmm. Hmm. This link doesn't work. Oh. There we go. Uh... Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Well, this one could be good, um, maybe to consider. Okay. Um, let's see what happens if I go here. Shift reload. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go back to error details. Um, Still happening. Um, hmm. Why is request to a belt adapters app engine? Like this is right. Interesting. Um, yeah. So why? Hmm. Hmm. Engine config dot pi. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Huh. Hmm, let's check the pip version. Yeah, okay. Um, it's a reasonable version of pip. Um, app.yaml. Library is only oh, with SSL. Huh. Is it actually added? It looks like it is added to site. 
Uh, okay. Let's go check the lib directory. Uh, um, huh. So, okay. second what's this exception uh, let's just try upgrading pip That did not work as intended. Uh, okay. So, blew away the lib directory, made a new one. Um, now, upgraded pip, just for the hell of it. Let's see if this does the trick. Deploy probably involve less files. Yeah, zero files, right. Um, so this has new versions of all of the dependencies. So this should do the trick, we hope. Um, and uh, OK, so getting back to the airflow issue that I was looking at. Uh, Doesn't where the hell did it go? Here. Okay. Uh hmm. let's go take a look at scoop. Um oh cool. Oh cool. Okay. Uh, looks like we fixed the dashboard. Probably still has to pull data. That's fine. Um. <coughs> Double check the settings files super quickly. Uh, and to keep an eye on things. I'm actually going to go and log in as, or OK, yeah, wait. Um, it's like uh, I don't know. Um, I want to look for a user. Do, there we go. I'm going to keep an eye on uh, our profile, make sure it's not doing anything funky. Uh, looks fine. No. OK. Uh, yeah. Uh, cool not doing anything, which is more or less what we would expect, uh, except if we make a new PR. Uh, PR. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this one doesn't look too bad uh, as far as PRs go, so let's go ahead and uh, 
take a look at that, actually. Uh, I mean, the other option is to go and look for to do items inside of Airflow, uh, incubator, Airflow. Um, and just for folks who aren't super familiar, oh, yeah. Uh, this was a thing. Hmm. Uh, Airflow-XXX. This was... Maybe I should make a Jira for this, actually, now that I think about it. Um, and this is actually maybe not, not a bad thing. Uh, we'll call this an improvement. Priority is trivial. Uh, and the summary is... Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, add instructions how to run individual tests in the Docker environment. Uh, do, 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 uh, assign me. Uh, since the Docker env is now how we expect folks to run their tests, um, for individuals who just want to verify an individual test, we should support um, uh, we should tell them how to do that. Uh, sure. So, oh shit. Uh. I did this as the wrong user. Um, oh well, whatever. Not the end of the world. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, and I think I got part of the way through this, but I got distracted with something. Uh, so let's go and uh, figure out what I was doing, because I don't remember. Uh... Hmm. I should really add a markdown mode to this. Um, uh, if you wish. So, uh, yeah, yeah okay. Uh, Uh, inside the container. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and run this script. Uh, oh, god damn it. Fuck, I thought I was in the Docker group. Um... Where's the docker unit? Var run docker dot sock. Var run. This isn't good, but actually, uh, I don't remember how to do this. <coughs> All right. Uh, uh, the only thing is, my groups don't change right away, I don't think, so I have to open a new... Do I get... No, uh, I don't. Whatever. Um, I'll... This is only going to last for the length of uh, this run. It's not actually a good thing to do, but it'll, it'll do the trick for uh, just running this, because I don't want to reboot, because I'm in the middle of a stream. Uh, cool. 
है Looks like this uh, eats a non-trivial amount of CPU. Um... Oh yeah, cool. Uh, oh yeah, no, so I didn't actually want to run this as sudo. Um, I don't remember why. I think it touches the files where I'm running locally, um, so I didn't want to do that, uh, I think, except it's being super slow. I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Um, I, I, I'm a little bit confused. Um, Uh, let's give it a minute, uh, and uh, I mean it's, it's more responsive now. Okay, there we go. It was just a focus issue. That's fine. Uh, okay, so my proposed change. So this is what we told people to do before. Uh, Uh, okay. So... Hmm. Probably we need to reorder those two. Is is there a way to run talks run single test? Uh, uh, let's uh, actually, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's stop this. Yeah, so many things. So, for example, um, one of the tests which had been failing, uh, or, well, hmm. Uh, ah, yeah, okay. Okay, so let's say we do this, right? Uh, do, do, do. Talks dash E inside of the Docker. Uh, 
Um, uh, I want to pick a single test. Uh, let's do um, with Druid hook. So let's say that's the test we want to run. Is this going to work? Method name is like um, uh, oh yeah okay I have to install this one. <coughs> That's weird. Um, okay, I, I did something before inside of this container, so it could be in a bad state. Um, huh. I'm slightly confused, though. If we get... Should maybe put wheel in our standard environment. Um, just because, yeah, but okay. Uh, wait, does this not actually. Okay. What the fuck? Exit. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, we run this. Uh, run this. If I can't run the fucking tests just as is. And we should fix that, too. <clears throat> Could be that I'm, I'm a little bit off. Cool. Not installed. Uh, um... But it could just be that I'm out of date with the master. So all right, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and try and just follow the regular script commands, because if they don't work, then I'm sad. But my guess is I just had an old reference to something. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay, cool. Okay.
while it's running, I'm going to just double check on Tox is not found. Um, okay. This is not needed. Um, um, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So it's it's missing talks, which is just not okay. Um, right? So the problem is that this Docker file isn't regenerated with the Docker Compose script, I don't think. Um... how to generate a new version of the Docker file. Actually, this, yeah, this is the wrong Docker file to be changing, I think. Uh, no, maybe, I don't.
So I am, once again, very confused as to how this stuff works, because, um, sure, these are all tox environments, uh, spin up mini cube, docker compose. Mm. Uh, Like, okay, if I go... Ah, it's my path which is all fucked up. That's the issue, isn't it? Uh... <coughs> okay, there we go. I think, yes. That's the ticket. I think we fixed it. Uh, okay, talks. Uh, export huh Huh. Huh. So this is weird. It's picking up the uh, the user, but. This is super weird. Um, this 
There's like a warning, right? When I run. Except, hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is an interesting choice for sure. Um, Okay, um, That's weird. Um, I'm going to double check that I don't have a noon meeting. I think I have a 12.30 meeting. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, we can keep working on this. Um, <clears throat> um, no, just launches the service on uh, uh, I'm really This is so confusing to me right now. Um, 
I'm sorry, I'm just kind of lost. Uh, hmm. out of date. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I think one of the previous incarnations where um, uh, hmm. I, I ran it from the Docker container and ended up owning a bunch of the tox files as root. Um. <coughs> uh -huh. Okay. Um. have talks installed system wide, right? No, not what I wanted. No. And I don't. <sighs> Fuck. Let's try this. This shouldn't be poking through to my like underlying like setup. Yeah, okay, it's not. That's that's good. So we did that. Now we're gonna do this. second Jira for this, I think. Update, um, contributing, on oh, a fresh machine, uh, uh,
Um, So this is just writing down um, the problem, and uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, this looks like it works fine. It's not great. Um, I don't like this. Uh, <clears throat> Hard code, home airflow for now. Um, um, mm -hmm. Install talks uh, for future CI builds. Images uh, and then for now, tell users to install talks, and uh, the other one is not a related change. Um, but uh, Docker compose dollar sign user uh, user. Um, Docker compose path. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wait, maybe, no, screw this. Can I just get away with this? Fuck yeah. All right. Cool. We're looking good. Um, oh, except we haven't actually tested my initial issue, which is why I was doing any of this stuff to begin with. So let's do that. Um, we want to make sure this works. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and install talks. And then I want to see that I can run just an individual test. <clears throat> uh, um, that would be really good because that would give me 10 minutes to go and eat lunch and I'm kind of hungry and I've got a meeting in 10 minutes. That would be really cool to actually um, be able to, to go to. Uh, okay, let's see. 
Um, looking pretty solid. Um, yeah, we want to wait for that to run for a little bit, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um, looks like it actually takes a while to install the Cassandra driver. Um, so that being said, since there might not actually be enough time, we're going to go ahead, do that git push, uh, and make a work in progress pull request. Um, and then we can get feedback on it, and we should probably add mention the author of this one. Um, Oh, sorry, yeah. Oh, fuck, I pushed the... Uh, and we're going to also give it the other Jira issue, which we just filed. a new branch with a better name uh, and then we'll go ahead make that there we go now um, okay cool there we go give a description. Um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to put uh, whip in the title, um, <coughs> update the uh, contributing guide um, for folks who want to run Docker Compose for a single test, g debugging. Um, uh, um, clarify talks install requirement. Um, include an image baked script um, for later and for now. Update contributing guide uh, until a new image can be rolled. Um, what else did we do? Uh, oh yeah, um, fix path for users who launch Docker Compose uh, while not running as a user named uh, Airflow. Um, uh, 
Um, yep, uh, this uh, only impacts local tests. Um, this is for improved local testing. Um, existing CI tests uh, should catch any breaking changes. Um, that is not yet true. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, this is mostly a dot change. Um, let's check this. Uh, yep. Um, updates to contributing docs. Um, yep. Let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, okay. Uh, we'll just squash this all down into one. This looks reasonable. Um, Actually, yeah, this maybe doesn't need to be work in progress. Now that I think about it, let's go ahead and hit save. Um, let's go and find the person who made this. Yep. Locally, uh, and uh, could be uh, a fix. Um, 
but I'm open to suggestions. Uh, okay, cool. Um, so that's that's a PR done. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, yeah, um, this leaves me five minutes to eat before my 12:30 meeting. So uh, we're gonna wrap it right now. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, I do have um, more things coming up. Um, I might do something on Monday. We'll uh, we'll see. Um, but definitely remember to uh, like and subscribe or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, there's yeah whatever. Um, I'm Holden Carol on YouTube and on Twitch. Um, definitely subscribe and click the little bell thingy. Uh, and do the same thing on Twitch to be notified when I've got new ones coming up. Um, I do weekly code reviews on Friday, um, and everything else is a little more ad hoc, but I hope to see you around. Have a lovely weekend.